Hey, hey! Welcome, welcome, welcome to Generation Rise, the podcast with Marcus Bell. Thank you, Rise family, so much for coming in and checking me out today. Listen, Rise family, I was looking on the internet this past week and something came across my eye that really kind of disturbed me. So I was looking on ESPN and I see this headline come up that involves Cam Newton, NFL player Cam Newton, and a teenage heckler. So I click on the link and it takes me on to, I think, Twitter. And there's a video of Cam Newton that's at this 7-on-7 tournament or 7-on-7 football camp. And for my Rise family that doesn't know what 7-on-7, it's a passing league. So it doesn't have the offense alignment. It's really for your quarterbacks, your receivers, your running backs, defensive backs, linebackers, but not the offense alignment. So he's at this. Cam Newton actually sponsors a team through his foundation, the Cam Newton Foundation, to participate in in tournaments around the country and everything like that, to participate and get better at football. So in the clip, this kid, teenager that is for an opposing team, is heckling Cam Newton, telling him that he's trash and he didn't use that word, talking about how he's a free agent, talking about how he's about to be poor, and the amount of disrespect that came through in that clip was just very alarming to me. I mean, I coach football and I've seen how some kids are and I'm around a lot of teenage kids and and, and younger people all together. So I, I get it how some kids are just disrespectful. Some people just don't completely understand the awareness, don't really have the awareness of what's going on around them. And some kids just really look for the clout chasing of getting the 15 minutes of fame on social media and things like that. Like Rise Family, you know that when you start popping off at the mouth, people are going to start recording. So people recorded this whole interaction and many of my Rise Family probably have seen it or heard of it from by now. But Here is what I want to say to my Rise family. Is that you have to show respect. When I when I listened to the clip and watched the clip, it immediately made me think of an incident that happened a few years ago with the rapper Birdman and a New York radio personality that Birdman felt like consistently disrespected him. So he went to the radio station for an interview and like the whole interview was really Birdman saying, you better put some respect on my name. Like he was, he went to the radio station, not to do an interview, but he was ready to go to war to a certain extent. But let's break this down just a little bit more. Let's talk about Cam Newton. Okay. So Cam Newton is an NFL player this past season. He played for the New England Patriots. But prior to that, he was with the Carolina Panthers. And I'm just going to take you back even a little bit further to that. So Cam Newton is a guy that has won and excelled at every level of football, the highest levels of football there are. Okay? So Cam Newton was a five-star recruit out of high school. He went to he got recruited and went to the University of Florida. Got in a little bit of trouble there, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit also. Got in some trouble there. He transferred to Ben College, a junior college. Led that team to a national championship, a junior college national championship. Transferred to Auburn. Led Auburn to a national championship. He was a Heisman Trophy winner. Once he got drafted number one overall by the Carolina Panthers, he was the Offensive Rookie of the Year. He went on to lead 
the Carolina Panthers to a Super Bowl, even though they lost the game. He was a, he has been an NFL MVP, most valuable player. He has made well over a hundred million dollars in football contracts alone. He's played ten years in the league. So, just from a strictly football perspective, this guy has done everything in football that that particular football player, that teenager could ever dream of doing. He played football in college. He played football in the NFL. And he has been very successful and very productive at every level of that. Okay? But even to take it a step further, like I said, he went to the University of Florida. He played behind another Heisman Trophy winner in Tim Tebow. And he was a backup on that national championship team. But he ended up getting in trouble at Florida, which caused him to transfer. Right? So that tells me that Cam Newton has had to overcome adversity, which means that he has a very unique perspective of being able to get in trouble, face that, deal with that, and then overcome that to move on, get a second chance, move on, and still continue to work to be successful. So as a person like that, that provides some very unique insight to an up-and-coming player who will no doubt have his own set of adversity that he will have to overcome. Cam Newton has dealt with injuries and overcome all of those things. And can you imagine the amount of wisdom that Cam Newton has, the amount of experience, the amount of insight, the amount of advice that Cam Newton can sow into young people, which he does oftentimes through a seven on seven team and through his foundation. But what if this teenager, this young man had approached Cam Newton and asked for advice? Or what if he would have asked for some of his wisdom and and been able to try to build a relationship with Cam Newton, that type of relationship would have far outweighed the 15 minutes of fame that he got in social media fame. So when you're dealing with professional athletes or dealing with adults in general, you have to exercise respect and humility in the way that you approach them, the way that you interact with them, the way that you talk to them. Okay? Now, another thing that this situation made me think about is a session that I gave to one of the to a football team through my the Rise Generation company. And in that session I asked the team a question and I asked them is respect earned or is respect given? And when I asked this question, many of the guys hands went up when I asked if it was earned. A lot of them said, yes, respect is earned. I actually believe that Respect is first given and then it is earned and maintained from there. I believe that you have to first give respect. And then from there, just like many other things, you either go up in terms of the respect level or you go down from there. But if you don't initially give it, then you don't have anything to start with in the in the first place. So. Rise family, I can't stress enough that we have to all do a better job of showing respect. That you have to put respect on people's names and what they've done. To add on to what Cam Newton has done outside of football, Cam Newton has his own clothing line. He has his own restaurant and cigar bar in Atlanta. And like I said, he has his own foundation. So not only is he an athlete, he's an entrepreneur, And he's a philanthropist. So there are so many things that a young person can pull from Cam Newton or a person like Cam Newton, an NFL player or 
NBA player, WNBA player, somebody that is where you want to go. There's so much that you can pull from these type of people if you show the proper respect and you approach them in the right way to build a relationship. This world is really based on relationships, not so much about what you know as much as the relationships that you can build, that you can draw from to get you to where you want to go. If you look at the clip that I'm talking about, if you ever get a chance to actually take a look at the clip, and there's actually two clips. The first clip that I'm talking about is the guy, heck, the kid heckling Cam Newton. The posture of the kid shows nothing but disrespect. And he's cursing at him and, and, and everything else. But there's another clip that follows it that Cam Newton posted in which he actually tried to give the kid the platform that he was looking for, the attention that he was looking for. And the kid was not prepared for it. That is the other thing in this is that if you ask for a platform, if you push for a platform, if you push for attention, you better be prepared for it. Because when Cam Newton asked the kid what he had done, what his team had done, he didn't have any real answers. He didn't know how to respond to the questions that Cam Newton was asking him. What did you do? I'm going to show you. No, what did you do in this tournament? His team was one and two or two and one or something like that. But he could not articulate to Cam Newton what he had done in the games that he had played thus far. All he could say is, I'm going to show you, look me up on YouTube. Do you really think Cam Newton's going to go out there and look up every kid on YouTube that, that tries to get an audience with him? It's not going to work like that. So I have to tell you guys, I have to tell my Rise family that you have to operate in, in, in humility. You have to operate with a, a air of respect you can't come across as this This kid came across as disrespectful. He came across with a level of arrogance. He came across as a me in front of the team type of a person to me. And the other part of it that this kid probably did not even think about is the impact that this interaction with Cam Newton is going to have on everybody around him. So... He's going to bring negative attention, not just to himself, but he brought negative attention to his family, his team, all the people that are associated with this young man. He brought negative attention to all of those people. So all of our choices have consequences. Some of those consequences are good. Some of those are bad. But in this particular situation, he might have gotten 15 minutes of fame on social media, but in large part, the attention is negative. If you look at some of the comments that some of the other NFL players and athletes have put out in the response to this clip, a lot of these guys are disappointed by this interaction because NFL players take their time out to give back. Cam Newton was giving back. He was trying to sow into people. He was trying to give his time and show support and show love for for young people that were coming up and trying to do something that he did and use football as a way to get to another level in life. But far and large, the response that this young man will get from this will be negative. As I mentioned, I believe that respect is given and then it's earned. Think about the amount of work that this kid is going to have to do to regain the respect that he lost in this situation. He's going to have to do overtime to earn the respect back, to re-earn the respect back that he may have already had. So if we control what we can control and keep these things in line, you don't have to get put in the situation where you have to work your way back up to a certain extent you'll be able to just continue to build on where you are. Apologies go, but so far. Now, not only does he have to apologize, but people are going to now dissect everything that he does 
to see if his actions are meeting his words. And I tell my my guys and the people that I have direct contact with all the time, as it relates to getting recruited to the next level, to getting recruited for college, whether that be football, basketball, track, uh, male, female, it doesn't matter. At a certain level, colleges are looking for reasons to take people off of their board. So instead of looking for reason to add people into their recruiting pool and things like that, at a certain level, they're looking for reasons to take them off. And sometimes it may be he's not tall enough or she's not tall enough or she can't do this, she can't do that. But a lot of times it's also that's not the type of character that I want in my program. That's not the type of attitude that I want in my program. These things can go a long way to either get you to being recruited or to get you to stop being recruited. So Rise Family, do not give people a reason to take you out of their draft pool or out of their recruiting pool or out of their pool of candidates for the job that you want or the college that you want or any of those things. We want to do the right things so that more people are drawn to us as opposed to be pulled away from us. You never know what somebody can do for you. Now, this particular instance became very widespread because of who it involved, Cam Newton. But I have seen disrespect on an everyday level by kids, by young people that are dealing with everyday people, business owners, parents, things of that sort. So let me tell you this. You never know who you're talking to. I saw a picture the other day of Bill Gates standing in line, dressed in jeans and a t-shirt, standing in a line for a burger and fries. Bill Gates is one of the richest people in the world. A lot of the people that have the wealth and the success that young people want are not the flashiest people in the world. You may know who Bill Gates is. You may be able to pick pick Bill Gates out of a lineup. But in my sessions, I put up pictures of people like Phil Knight. And a lot of the people that I've shown that picture to have no idea who he is. Phil Knight is the co-founder of Nike. And most people cannot pick him out of a lineup. But if Phil Knight can pay to endorse the likes of Kevin Durant, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, just to name a few, and give them millions of dollars to endorse his Nike product, how much money does he make? What kind of impact and influence does does he have around the world? Warren Buffett is has a net worth of more than $74 billion. Warren Buffett doesn't wear Versace or designer clothes or anything like that. Warren Buffett doesn't drive Maseratis or the most expensive cars. Warren Buffett still lives in the house that he bought in 1958. Mark Zuckerberg is a t-shirt and jeans type of guy. A lot of your local business owners, wherever you are, are just regular moms and dads and people. And they may have extreme wealth, but they may not look like you expect them to look for somebody that has a certain amount of money or a certain amount of wealth. So you have to be very careful how you approach people because you never know who may be able to help you out. You never know that the disrespect that you show at one point may come down to hurt you later on in life. That school that you're not interested in recruiting you, but if you show them disrespect, you may want to coach one day. And that school may be able to have an open position, but because you treated them poorly when they were recruiting you, they may not give you that opportunity. So Rise Family, put some respect on it. I can't tell you enough. Put some respect on it. Put some respect on the names of the people that are your parents, are connected to you and people that you don't know because you never know who's watching and you never know what somebody can do for you. Rise family, we can't just show respect when somebody has the look that you have them, that you expect them to have. A lot of people that have that look are not wealthy. They're just doing it for the gram. So listen, Rise family, 
You have to give to get. So show respect so that you can also get the respect that you want to get as well. I hope and pray, Rise family, that this makes sense to you. I hope that we can all get better of showing the proper respect to people. Rise family, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me here today. I always appreciate your love and support. I thank you for continuing to like, share, and subscribe to this podcast. If you want to reach out to me, you can reach out to me on Twitter at RiseENT1, on Instagram, The Rise Generation. Check out my company website at therisegeneration.org. This podcast is available on all of your favorite podcast hosts. Again, like, share, subscribe, send it out to your friends and family. Thank you again so much for joining me here today. Thank you. God bless you. I love you. Now go be great.